Let's go try that first and foremost. That bear needs to die. The bear needs to die. And if I fail, I'll just cut it and be like, the bear didn't die. The bear didn't die, guys. All right, let's go. Fast mode. Let's YOLO. We're tough. Look at us. <laughs> We're quite a pair. I don't want to go see that. I don't want to go see her. No, 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 no. Not yet. I know that's the main story, but whatever. We got things to do. All right, Veilwood. Yawn, it's daytime. So, bear and wall. Wall first. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Use the grappling hook. Climb to the top. Okay, we're up top. What's going on here? Ooh. So we have uh, some camping gear, which is fine. Some leather armor, which is whatever. A scrawled letter. I do not think you will ever see this, but you are right, Fulvano. We should have journeyed south together and been safer for it. I would tolerate all the gloating in the world if I might live to hear it. I have put myself, put myself out of the reach of beasts circling below, but I am done for all the same. I do not think I will rise again. Whoever finds this, pray for me. Perhaps in the next life I will shall be a trapper of wolves. Those are the wolves that I killed down below. Though never as famed as he would claim, the valiant the yeah, valiant explorer Fulvano was known to be a centric who wished to see the world. Where possible, he traveled by foot to gain a local appreciation for the sights, sounds, and smells of the lands he passed through. In practice, however, Fulvano often claimed that his explorations proved only that the world outside the Valian Republics was a foul, smelly place that paled in comparison to his homeland. These gloves are said to have belonged to Fulvano, who often found himself in need of some protection as he climbed harsh terrain or maneuvered through forests. While thick enough to provide some warmth, they are meant first and foremost to be flexible enough to not hinder delicate tasks. So they give of reflex. So that's cool. It's like they add to your uh, reflex defense. Not bad. And some St. Gaian's Horn. Put those on. Wait, really? Ah, uh, they don't stack. With the cloak. The cloak gives plus five to all of them, so... Because see, look. Down, down here, right here. It's giving you five, but him it won't because the cloak gives five to everything. So they don't stack. Good to know. Good to know. Did that use up my grappling hook, by the way? Nope. Sweet. Climb down. That was all. Oh, I missed some mushrooms. God damn it. Climb to the top. Gotta get them mushrooms. Alright, now we're done up there. Now to kill the bear. <laughs> like the bear's not just gonna one-shot me again. Ah, well. Never said that it was gonna be easy, did I? No sorry, Bob. Don't worry, the wizard's going to start out by, like, murdering him nice and easy. I want to get the bear dead and then go back and check if those guys are still there. If they're not, then I'm going to assume that I had to have killed the bear early. Okay. Huh. Hold beasts. Okay, now... Yes. Uh. No, stop moving together, guys. Sometimes I just suck at this. Uh, let's see here. So, bad news, bears. Don't you dare. How may 
I have? All right. Hmm. All right. Reduce its accuracy, please. Before it kills me. Before it kills me. Ooh. All right. Don't you dare. This is it. You're either gonna die here. You're probably gonna die here. That bear's gonna smack you down. You missed? You fool! Ah, so close! Alright, alright. We got this, guys. <laughs> You're like, why? It's like, why the hell do you keep trying this? It's, it's doable. Just, just bear with me here. Right. Just bear with me. Get it? <gasps> My pause. I always try to hit pause just as it tries to auto-pause and it screws up. I missed. Let's load again. Basically, in order to win this fight, I need to murder that bear before sure. he realizes what's going on. So. Mm. Okay. How can I help? How can I help? Hmm. Uh. Yes. Hmm. Time for you to run. Uh. And you. Uh oh. I may have done bad. Yay, we got him. Whew. I shot. Bear is dead. Whew. Ow. Right. My own own effect is uh is hitting me. No good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ooh. 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 The heck? Oh, what's going on here? A figure drifts suspended in the musty air of the cavern. Its form and features blur and twist in its cascading ripples of incandescence. You feel energy eddying about. Your limbs fill them with a heavy chill. Reach out. You reach out the hand for the spirit. In the moment of contact, feels you've been struck a blow. Head willing to tremble helplessly into a waiting darkness. Light blooms at the edges of your vision. You feel the sun at your back and the weight of a bow in your hand. You know suddenly that you have come a long way from the Vale, hunting deer. Now you are standing before a cavern, and the darkness extends far to its death. Even so, your friend strides out before you, his red cloak flapping his heel. You follow, your heart hammering your chest as he leads you deeper into the cavern. There is a roar like thunder echoing around you. Fear seizes you, casts you stumbling back towards the exit, towards light and escape. You see a glint of steel, and there is a sudden, terrible flash of agony behind your knee. You scream, stumble, fall. Oh, so he killed his own friend. Your thoughts are chaos, lanced through with pain, but in a moment of terrible clarity, you see your friend look back from the mouth of the cavern, his dagger daubed in crimson to match his cloak. And then there is a great dark shape above you, and then there is more pain. Ah, uh, clergyman, I don't have... Oh, well. The vision recedes. You are thrown back to yourself with seemingly resentful force. Your corpse lies at your feet, and the specter lingers. In the span of energy between your both, you feel a sense of questioning, of confusion, of anger. I met him on the road, your friend. A sudden lashing anger emanates from the spirit. Rage and grief seem to pour from the gleaming figure like smoke. I'll find him and see that he answers for what he's done to you. That makes sense to me. I would do that. For a moment, the spirit seems to burn bright and your head fills with a sickly triumph. The spirit seems to weaken with the force of its own exaltation, growing fainter and fainter until you are alone once more. Are you alright? You seemed lost just now. Uh, this happens a lot. You'll get used to it. That's good to know, but I don't suppose you can tell me what that's all about. I'm not really sure. It just recently started happening. Indeed, at the risk of sounding patronizing, you should probably have that examined. <laughs> no, really. 
He scratches his cheek. It's a shame that the Lord, that Lord Raedrex hanged the half of Gilded Vale. The Valiant Dwarf might have known something about your condition. Mm-hmm. Let's continue on. So now, that's what I thought. Something like this was going to happen. I didn't want the other guy to leave suddenly, right? Is he lootable? No. His chest is, though. Great sword. I guess I'm not specialized in any way, shape, or form. I could try a two-hander. See how that works out. How does that, uh... 26. Hmm. The Great Sword is renowned for its ability to cause deadly wounds even against terrible beasts. Though it is relatively slow up and requires the use of both hands, it is truly devastating when used by a skilled warrior. I don't know if that's a bad move or not, but... Huh. Mice crawl through eye sockets and open femurs. Cave coral. Alright, that was a f epic fight, but good job, guys. Good job, all of you watching, for laughing at me while I failed to kill that bear several times. Alright, let's go back and kick that guy's ass, shall we? I think there's an exit right here. Hopefully they're not gone by now. If they are, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, and there's colorblind mode. Hmm. I wonder if I should turn that on or not. I am very, very slightly colorblind. Most of the time it doesn't really bother me, but occasionally I have trouble discerning certain things. Let's kick the door open and be like, Sup? Sup, bitch? Knock the door open. Kill them all. They are still here. Alright, stay back, wizard. I know this is going to get hairy. Well met. I know what really happened in that bear cave, Naunton. I don't know what you mean. I told you the truth of it. Are you accusing him of something? If this is about the accident, we're both grieved by Pearly's loss, but it was a wild animal's doing. What would make you suggest such a thing? Resolve 14. Stop. I have no patience for cowards and liars. Fine, I confess it. I did it. I saw to it he'd never leave that cave. And I'd do it again. Naunton, wait. I don't know what you saw in that cave, but this is what you think. Pearly, my husband, he was as much of a beast as that bear. I tried to leave the first time I suffered his temper, but he wouldn't have it. Naunton, he... We met, and I knew I'd found someone special, someone kind, who cared for me. Oh, this is an interesting situation. Please, all we want is, someone to, is to leave this place, to start somewhere else. We, we've saved us some coin... You could have it if only you let us go. Hmm. So I could be... Whoa. Coin would be nice. Whatever your reasons, you caused a man's death. I'm taking this to the magistrate. I'm going to be honest. I could be benevolent. My character is fairly benevolent. He'll fight a bear to save your spirit. Um... But killing these guys doesn't seem that, like, useful. I'll let him keep it, I suppose. Hmm. Then, thank you, truly. I, I'm glad you understand. Only here, take this. I hope it brings you luck. We have a long journey ahead of us. I think that buffed my reputation. I wish you well on your travels, stranger. stranger. We won't forget this. Yeah, I think that actually helped uh, my rep. And what did he give me? A ring of minor deflection, which... Oh, yes, that will help me, actually. Because deflection is the one defense I don't have on this character. Sweet. Deflection is like your base uh, armor class, I think. So, that's useful. It'll help against the bear. Oh, yeah, I robbed these guys, and they didn't say a goddamn thing before. Well, all's well that ends well. Good amount of experience there, too. Sweet. So now we should go talk to that lady and see what the hell's going on. I have no idea how long this video's been going for, though. Damn it. I have a bad tendency to do that. I get so caught up in the game, guys. Well, um... What I will do is uh, stop it here, and if... As usual, if it's between like 10 and 20 minutes, I consider that a fine episode. If it's longer than that, it's 
a long one, and you guys are lucky or bored in your minds. If it's shorter than that, though, I will bump it up to another video, but I'm pretty sure we're right in the right range there. So, as always, guys, I'm Iron Gone. You guys, take care.